Anyway, I'm going to stop recording here and uh, get these emails answered. And hopefully I will see you <coughs> later on in the afternoon. I'm going to pop some pills right now, get some paracetamol down me, get that working, and uh, get some packing done as well. So, uh, see you guys in a bit. Time to pop these pills guys, paracetamol. Hopefully this should last for another maybe four to six hours I think. And yes, I always have to. Uh, feel that works for me. But anyway, Bismillah Rahim. Bismillah Rahim. The water over here, they all with covered bottles, so you want you got Aquafana, uh, which Aquafina, sorry, which is another good company, and then you've got another one called Mum. And the supplier who gave us this one, uh, they said this, this is a popular brand. Um, and these, probably Aquafina, and this one, they can be both trusted. I've not had any, and I've not been any tummy, any tummy aches or any the deli belly that you call. And this water's been fine as well. I've had this as well, so no issues so far. Uh, in the morning, in the morning or during the night time, whenever I want to do my toothbrush, I clean the wall. I clean my toothbrush because these are supplied by the hotel. So I clean my glass, my toothbrush. I, I rinse my mouth out with this. This is the water that I rely on in the hotel. This is what's supplied by the hotel that I live in, La Meridian. Very well known hotel is part of the Marriott Hotel. So. This is also very well trusted, guys. So, uh, yeah, that's the water update, and that's me pop, popping the pills. I hope you guys uh, can visit Bangladesh one day, but like I said, I would not be missing the traffic here. This is our last day in Bangladesh. We're about to go to the airport. We just checked out the hotel, making our way back to the UK. So, uh, I will keep showing you the journey that we're going to go home on. So, see you in a bit. Number one and then number nine, do you say something? Yeah, number one, through there. Then up and then we're going through there. So guys, we are now in the business lounge at Wembrots in uh, Bangladesh Airport and uh, seems like it's a really nice well done uh, business lounge. Let me just see if I can give you a glimpse. So that's where we are sitting right in the end. It's a bit small. And then right behind me is where all the food is. Well I can show you, I don't know. It's because uh, people might mind me recording. Um, yeah, so I don't know what food they have, whether it's continental or whether it's just, you know, uh, Bangladeshi. But being Emirates, I think will cater for everyone. So our flight is at uh, quarter past ten. Um, we we are early, so it's say eight o'clock. So we've got, you know, at least two hours to go before we are uh, on board the plane. You know, my experience at the customs better than Pakistan. Better than Pakistan. One guy did try try have us on at the start, he goes, I can help you through, I'll go to your charge, he goes, yes, we got, we got no currency, nothing, because no one, none of us have bought any currency, um, so, yeah, it was nice and easy, we got through, uh, the system was nice and easy, there was another person that did make a bit of fuss, you checked in online, you got a paper copy, but you need the actual cardboard copy from the actual guys at the checkout, I'm like, come on, 
this is the 21st century, what you're doing. So yeah, other than that, it's all, it's all gone well. Are you? Are you want to sit? <laughs> Sorry, have I taken your seat? Yeah. So, Ian's having uh, some conflicts. I am. Go and help yourself, Tom. Yep, yeah, so time for me to go. Have they got a good selection of food here? Yeah, basic breakfast, don't you? Yeah, carry on there. Oh, it's breakfast, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I forgot. Have you got a curry on there and one thing and Oh, no, I'm not going for a curry here anymore. No, no way. Don't want a deli belly. So, no, time to get some food, guys. business lounge it's a small little area that's where we enter from so here we go guys some of the menu was wasn't something that I fancied but uh, where's it gone? there was a nasty one here somewhere that one. so cornflakes and we've got pancakes and sausages so you must know now I love chicken sausages chicken kebabs you want to call it yeah so that's honey on there Mm. And all that's missing now is going to be a cup of tea. Sorry, guys, it's dark. I'm sitting on the wrong side of the room again. But anyway, it's been now. Right here. Mm. Nice. Breakfast is done, and uh, I think the breakfast here at the business lounge is mainly catered for the Bangladeshi taste buds. I mean, there were a couple of things that I've had sausages, pancakes, I could have had some pastries um, um, but other than that it's, uh, it's okay it's okay for what it is and now we are going to be going to the gate number 9 to Dubai um, I've still got you know an hour left before we get on onto the, uh, onto the aeroplane can't wait um, I'm going to try and sleep on the second flight back home from Dubai because that's about seven hours so I can't wait for that one Come on England, come on home Let's get home to Manchester. So this is a five hour flight. So see you guys in Dubai.
back in the vehicle and now heading straight home, which is probably going to be an hour, an hour's drive, is it, they think? An hour? Easy hours, an hour's drive, so can't wait to get home. It's been a good trip. Well, guys, I'm back home. I'm back home. Hey, Lucky, are you happy? Yeah. Good boy. I've just stepped inside the door, guys, and uh, Zaki was right there waiting for me. Uh, you know what? I'm so glad to be home. I just, I am. And I'm knackered, I'm shattered, and I need something to eat. I'm hungry as well. Um, so, what have we got to, what, what have you cooked me? Hello. Yeah? Wait, that. What have you cooked me? I want to cook. Mommy, no, I want you to cook. <laughs> but you know, guys, today was crazy because the flight from uh, Dhaka to Bangladesh, it got delayed by an hour and so many minutes So because there was a family. One of them got sick, vomiting in the, in the thing in the aeroplane. And then they got taken off, the whole family. And then they had to move their luggage and everything like that. So that plane set off late. Then when we were going to Dubai, we only had 15 minutes to connect to the next flight. We just ran. We were like Lynn for Christy. Uh, so we did that. And unfortunately, I couldn't get the kids any, any sweets or anything like that because... I thought, you know, I'll stop in Dubai and we'll get some little sweets from the kids, but unfortunately I couldn't get anything. And Zane's asking me, is, uh, Papa, what, what did you get me? Yeah, Zane, I couldn't get you anything, sorry. Uh, because uh, we had no time in Dubai. No time in Dubai to sit in the business lounge as well. That's the second time on the way when we went. We never had enough time. We only had 45 minutes to connect to the next flight. And then... Uh, and this time around, we only had 15 minutes left to connect to the flight, so... Apologise, guys. Next time, maybe, yeah? Sweet, I don't see you on your birthday, right? You don't need any more sweets, so... I'm going to have some food. Um, and... Uh, get some sleep and catch up with my sleep. And then... Uh, see you guys, hopefully, on a new vlog. So keep watching, guys. My name is Tavi, you're watching Mr. Showtime. Peace out, guys. Bye.